Hey there, Taurus. Welcome to your reading to, uh, this is your August bonus reading. I'm tongue-tied in your reading, apparently, here, Taurus, but this is your August bonus reading. We're just gonna see uh, what comes up for you. You have this shark card and this uh, crow card here as well. I have the word, like, earning something popping into my head or something like that. I'm not sure, <laughs> I'm really not sure what the words are that I'm getting, but it's almost like you're earning something or you have earned something. Uh, you know, before I keep saying it, I'm gonna keep pulling cards and we'll, we'll see what comes up here, but you have the Temperance card, the Knight of Wands, and the King of Wands here. So, you know, this could be a fire sign uh, coming in for you at this time. So if you are looking for love, you know, wouldn't surprise me. You always get a fire sign, you know, Sag, Aries could be, you know, could be any sign, could be a water sign as well, but, <laughs> uh, let's, let's keep it going. Cause I'm not so sure that this is necessarily, you know, just a love reading that's going on here. I feel like there's a lot going on in your reading. Um, you know, I do feel more kind of like with the crow, with this crow card, I feel this sense of like playfulness or being more playful, especially with the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands, he's more willing to kind of experiment his way to success. You know, on a traditional Knight of Wands, he's got those two uh, or three pyramids behind him. And, you know, you actually have a pyramid right here on the Temperance card, I'll show you in a minute. But the pyramids in the tarot represent mysteries. They represent, um, not seeing things clearly or, um, or you know, needing to dive into mystery. And I always think of the Knight of Wands as someone who's like willing to go on the adventure to discover something or willing to, um, you know, kind of build something. You know, to me, he's a true builder of the tarot as well. If like he doesn't know how to do something, he will build it, whatever he needs to build. Um, I also feel with this uh, shark card here, I'm getting something about your senses, like more, you know, sharks are very sensitive and they're able to pick up, you know, electricity in the water basically. So, you know, electrical signals. And I feel you really need to trust your senses. You have a lot of water energy here. King of Cups, Queen of Cups, uh, Hangman, the Knight of Cups. You have a lot here that would really represent, you know, trusting your, not just your instincts, but, you know, I feel like you are having feelings. You know, you are sensing maybe uh, things that you could be successful at or directions that you should be moving in this month. And that's exactly what I would do. Again, on this Temperance card, it kind of stands out to me that there is this uh, pyramid right here <laughs> behind the Temperance person. No, this is not a traditional Temperance card, of course, but, you know, it, it, again, it's standing out to me that there is some sort of mystery. There would be pyramids on the uh, Knight of Wands, so, you know, it makes perfect sense, but there's like some sort of mystery or something is mysterious to you or, you know, it's like you don't have all the answers, but this is like a good mystery. I almost feel like this is becoming a game for you in a good way. Again, I get this playful energy off of that crow spirit. I feel it's encouraging, you know, play, trying things. You know, crows are like really super smart. So, you know, I feel it's encouraging you to kind of use your like puzzle solving skills and all this other stuff. I, I need more details to know what this is. I know, I know I'm speaking very generally here. And for some of you, this could be all areas of your life, but there's something going on. Uh, you have the King of Wands, Sorry, the Knight of Wands here. You do have the King of Wands as well. The Knight of Wands, I, again, I feel is encouraging this uh, sense of adventure. It is kind of weird. Every single person uh, that I've been reading for for the past few weeks has really had this energy of you know, passion, m moving towards passion. I believe we need to invite more passion and joy into our lives right now, uh, just because everything is going the other direction. It's like the universe wants us to go this way, not this way. <laughs> and I feel like the universe wants us to be like less serious. And I don't mean that things aren't serious. Like someone is always like, how dare you not take every little issue so seriously in life. I'm like, okay, if you want to be a neurotic mess, go do that over there, right? I'm going to be over here on this side. And, uh, you know, so again, more playfulness, more happiness, bringing more joy into your life. You have the uh, King of Wands here. I do feel like this is the road to success is what I'm hearing is this going this way, uh, the Six of Wands. But I don't think, you know, again, I like to remind people that this isn't something you just get. I feel you need to embrace these energies if you want to be on the road to success. There's even that path behind the, on a traditional temperance card, there's a path behind the temperance angel and it is the path to glory. It is like the path to everything you want. You know, there's that glowing crown in the background. So the first energy I think you need to embrace is the King of Wands. He is very bold, very assertive. He really charges towards things that he wants. And you know, you always get this in your readings, Taurus, that you know, if you nurture something in, into existence, if you treat it like a baby, it will be very successful. So I feel like you need to kind of like nurture 
things into existence, or it's almost as if you need to treat something as if it's a baby, if that makes sense. <laughs> you know, it could be a project, a business, whatever you're working on. And again, you have divine counterparts twice here. I, I feel uh, right here and right here, king and queen of wands, king and queen of cups. If you want love, this is a very good love reading. I feel like it's one person uh, that's coming in for you, but they could embrace the, the cups energy and the wands energy. So, you know, definitely something to look out for. But again, I need more details to say that. So let's see. With the uh, Temperance card yet, you're not going to find everything you want where you are. Uh, that's true for everyone. You literally have four pentacles here with the world. And the world is saying, you need to get out into the world. Like, what are you waiting for? With the hangman. The hangman, his he, he knows so much that his head is literally glowing. And he's like saying, oh, I need to know more information. It's like, no, you need to get your ass moving and then you'll be successful. Uh, with the Knight of Wands, you have the Five of Cups. Again, I would be careful of any like players or anyone from the past. Again, I feel like this is just a general warning because of the retrogrades. You know, this retrograde in particular has been, you know, I don't know, it seems to be one that could really be bringing people back from the past. So I would be careful of that. With the King of Wands, you have the Two of Wands, yes, needing to get out into the world. Again, Two of Wands is really about leaving a comfort zone. I've been saying since, you know, 2016, basically everything you want is on the other side of something you've never done before. That is the name of the game. It's like if Four of Pentacles, if you're sitting where you've always been, <laughs> you're not going to discover anything new. And I know that sounds obvious, but it's like we all need to take risks at this time. And we're not even talking about bad risks. We're talking about the risk of being wrong. I think the simplest way, if I were to just boil it down to the simplest, like there's more that goes into it, right? Yes. But if I were to boil it down to like the simplest thing, I would say that really the, the risk we are all taking is the risk of being wrong. Because if we're wrong, we might be exposed, you know, or might, might feel like we are going to get exposed or whatever. And so I feel like you need to take that risk because it's going to make you successful. Uh, next in the area, what you need to hear right now, you have this success vampires card. It says people are taking away your time, your ideas and draining your energy. Again, I think also what people need to realize is again, we have this choice to go to this new abundant world and to step into it, we, but we just have to choose to step into it. And so when you do that, of course, people who are stuck in the old world are gonna try to drag you down, so ignore it. You have this card that says, be careful who you take advice from. Yeah, I would only take advice from yourself, basically, <laughs> with this energy. I, I feel, I wouldn't even ask for advice. Um, you know, it's like, I, I find like, that if I come up with an idea or something, I, I just need to get started on it and then ask for advice. Because if I ask for advice first, then I'm not going to do it. I know right away because, um, you know, that that's when people maybe point out things that are wrong with the idea or whatever. And the idea might be wrong or it might be right. But again, if you ask for the wrong advice, you get the wrong advice, then you're not going to do it. So whatever you're thinking about doing, g just get it started, put it into the world first and then ask for advice is what this is saying. Uh, you have the um, world, the King of Cups, and the Six of Wands. Because it'll, you will be victorious, you have the world. The world is a card of an achievement or an accomplishment. So I do feel like there could be some sort of achievement or an accomplishment coming in for you here. I'm wondering if you have water in your chart here, Taurus. If you, like some of you might have, you know, might be like have a water, like have heavy water in your chart is what I'm getting. And if you, if you happen to have heavy water in your chart, I definitely feel that there could be an accomplishment here. I also feel it, for those of you specifically that have heavy water in your chart, like a water moon sign or something, uh, there definitely could be a water sign coming in for you. And it could be from a distance, very specific uh, type of message here. So, you know, take it how it resonates. But uh, some of you could also be traveling. You have the King of Cups here. Our, our emotions do seem to be very important right now. Uh, the King of Cups comes up a lot. You always get the Queen of Cups in your readings. And so outside of this being love, I would say, you know, that I feel you need to kind of, you know, maintain your emotions. Normally, the King of Cups is sitting in the middle of the ocean and he's perfectly fine. <laughs> you know, they're, they're choppy waters all around him, but he doesn't really care that they're choppy waters. He is very much in control of his emotions. He has very deep emotions, but he's explored those deep emotions. So he understands like where he's coming from. He understands that he doesn't need to worry about certain things or, you know, whatever the case may be. So it's like he's in control of his emotions because he's explored his emotions. And I do feel we, like it's a time of manifestation. So, you know, uh, you can manifest good things or bad things with your emotions. So keep, you know, keep an eye on your emotions. You have the six of wands here. Uh, definitely a victory coming in for you. I do feel this could be, you know, success. Here we go to the eight of pentacles, to the queen of cups. Um, 
This could be love success, but it could also just be something that you will love success. <laughs> you know, it could be a business success or, you know, some sort of project that you're working on. And uh, this looks like an, a, an achievement to me. Again, you have a lot of achievement cards showing up here. Six of Wands, the world, even the temperance card, you know, with that path to glory can kind of represent an achievement. It's not really an achievement, but it says the achievement is there if you put in the work. With the world card, you have the eight of cups here. Yeah, I feel like you could be walking away from people that no longer serve you or from the energy vampires and things like that. Um, when I get a reading like this, it's so positive. And then we get something like five of cups, eight of cups. To me, it says it would be a good time to do that. You know, it would be a good time to look at the people who waste your time or suck your energy and get rid of them. With the King of Cups, you have the King of Wands. <laughs> I told you that at the beginning of the reading that this was literally like a fire sign with water, or water with fire, that this was one person. So I really feel this is like one person that's coming in for you. I feel like they probably embrace the energy of both the King of Wands and, and the King of Cups here. You know, they could be very loving, caring, nurturing. I actually say they are very, very similar. Um, you know, the King of Wands to me is actually probably the most nurturing king in the tarot. And a lot of people might say, oh, what about the King of Cups? He's very nurturing. But it's like different. The King of Wands, he raises something like a baby. Again, he really, really takes care of the things that he cares about whatever it is, doesn't matter. So again, you might be uh, attracting a person who like really, really, really cares extra <laughs> about the things that they care about. And that, I mean, I don't know, that could be something that's attractive to you or something like that. But uh, let's see. And it doesn't matter what gender, by the way. Uh, with the six of wands, you have the eight of wands. Yeah, definitely success, quick success coming in for you. This is probably one of the better readings I've done for you in a while uh, here, Taurus. So, you know, I feel for a lot of you, there's like success rushing in. This could also be communication. So, you know, if you're hoping to meet a person or whatever, you could be communicating with this person. I always say that the eight of wands is also like meeting a person socially. So you could meet this person through, you know, your social group or through friends or something like that. Uh, next in the area of the unexpected, you have the sand dollar card. It says manifestations. Be open to receiving. I knew there was something about manifesting here. So again, keep it positive. You have the stingray. It says be aware of your surroundings and mindfulness. So I feel that for a lot of you, it does say you know kind of like pay attention, make sure to keep your vibe high. Someone else, I don't, I really don't remember who it was, but someone else had something about like being super careful about the information that you put into your brain, the things that you say to yourself. You know, all that's going to be really important. So I would make sure that you're keeping it, you know, super positive at this time and not letting anything, you know, negative get into your brain, basically. Uh, this could be including, you know, paying attention to the things that you're watching, um, you know, the things that you talk about yourself, all that stuff. I would be careful. Uh, you have the hangman, the eight of pentacles and the magician. The hangman, again, I, I kind of got that feeling at the beginning of the reading that it's like there's nothing more... There's no more information that you can cram into your head that's going to prepare you. It's it's as if you are as prepared as possible. <laughs> there is no more preparation for this journey, right? You, ha you, you have to get onto that path to glory. You have to get onto that path of success that is on the uh, temperance card. Um, but again, it's almost as if I feel you trying to cram more in. You know, it's like you're trying to say, oh, there's like one more thing I have to learn before I, you know, start this business or there's like one more thing I have to do before I talk to this person about how I'm interested in them. Um, but I feel like this is really saying the time is now you're over prepared and you need to uh, start putting in the work. Uh, it is interesting to me as well that a lot of people have had the eight of pentacles this week, which could be a good thing because the eight of pentacles is like material success on the horizon. And we do have these retrogrades going on a lot of retrogrades, not just Mercury and Venus this month, but you know, some of the bigger planets as well. And what I would say is, you know, sometimes I wonder if the retrogrades can bring back money <laughs> as well. It's like if someone owes you money or if you did a bunch of work and you didn't get paid what you are worth or, you know, something like that, it, this could be like the return of the money. Because again, Eight of Pentacles is like material success on the horizon, like I said, but it could represent getting paid for work you've already done, but it might not be directly. You know what I mean? It's like maybe you did a bunch of work years ago for a person and you didn't get paid your worth, but it's like maybe it's coming back to you now in some unrelated way. Again, I think people sometimes don't realize that the universe balances out, but it might be in a way that you didn't even realize, like an investment paying off or something like that. So, you know, I, I kind of feel that here with the Eight of Pentacles. You have the Magician. Again, I would be super, super careful of your manifestations. I would be super careful of the words that you use for yourself, on yourself, all that. <laughs> I would keep it keep it as positive as possible uh, with this Magician energy. But let's see uh, where this is going for you, Pisces. 
Uh, with the Hangman, you have the Moon card. Some of you could be dealing with... Uh, I just said Pisces because I was looking at the freaking Hangman. And then here you go, Pisces. <laughs> so this is for you, Taurus. But it could be a Pisces, as I was just going to say. Um, right here. So, uh, you know, some of you could be dealing with Pisces. Some of you could be dealing with um, needing to get started again. Like I said, the... Hangman, he needs to get started. The moon is the path, right? The moon has a path straight down the middle. I feel like you need to get onto this new path. With the uh, Eight of Pentacles, you have the Queen of Swords. I feel like you see something very clearly now. There is a strange amount of clarity as well, I would say, in these readings. The Queen of Swords has come up a lot. She has her back to the past, so traditionally her back would be here, this going this way. And she has the clouds only halfway up her body, but she sees the future very clearly. Again, like I said, I do think that retrogrades can actually bring a lot of clarity into our life. We could be revisiting old things and kind of gaining clarity on those situations, which opens up the future, which allows us to move forward. With the Magician, you have the Three of Wands. Uh, yeah, the card of expansion, card of growth, card of, you know, good things coming in for you. So I, I feel there is a lot of expansion and growth coming in for you with the Three of Wands feel I also have the word happiness popping into my head. I don't necessarily uh, look at the three of wands as a card of happiness, but you know, again, I read intuitively and I feel that some of you, if you go on this adventure here, right here to here, um, that it, what you don't realize is all the happiness that it's going to bring into your life. So uh, don't be afraid to get started on that new adventure. Uh, next, you have this uh, in the area of the good stuff. Whatever shows up here, it's going to be good no matter what. You have this armadillo spirit. It says set healthy boundaries. You have this eagle spirit. It says spirit has your back. So I feel whatever journey you're thinking about going on, you are supported by the universe, clearly. If you are meeting a new person, again, we do have these retrogrades. So as I say to everyone, I don't think astrology should control your life. And you know, if we followed astrology exactly, then we would never do anything. So I always tell people, it's like, you can't, you know, we have retrogrades, Mercury retro goes retrograde for, you know, at least three months out of the year, uh, most years, sometimes four, because sometimes we have four Mercury retrogrades in a year. And, um, you know, plus all the other retrogrades that we get. So it's like you would never do anything if you listen to the astrology. I always tell people, just take your time. Just realize that, yes, after the retrogrades, maybe things will be different. Maybe things will change. But as I've said to other people, it's like the universe isn't going to stop you from having something that's meant for you. So it's like, why not get it over done with anyway? It's like, I'd rather date dur someone during a retrograde and realize that they're a jerk or a bozo right freaking away so I can end it right away, right? It's like instead of dragging it out for a year. So I look at retrogrades as times where you can save a lot of time, right? And get something over and done with or you know it maybe it changes after the retrograde but for the better so there you go right but i would get moving maybe you want to take your time again it is retrograde so you might want to just make sure you're not like falling for fantasy double check everything make sure you're not making the same mistakes as long as you're honest with yourself and you check in with yourself you'll be fine you have the queen of cups knight of cups the queen of wands the knight of cups could be a knight in shining armor so if you want love, this looks great. If you, even if you don't, or even if you do, <laughs> this could be uh, what you are working on. The Knight of Cups is a dreamer. He is dreaming of something that he wants to create. And I feel this could be you starting something that is more heart-based with the Queen of Cups. Every single reading I do for you, you have the Queen of Cups. She just comes up all the time. And again, this really is the answer to your success is making sure that you're doing things that align with your heart, making sure you're doing things that bringing you joy, happiness that fulfill you. All that stuff is going to be like really important here, Taurus. You have the Queen of Wands. Uh, Queen of Wands, she is. She also moves towards her heart. She has that sunflower that normally points towards the sun. Every single person has been getting the Queen of Wands. <laughs> it's also crazy. But again, I also think we are in a time of inspiration and we need to follow those inspirations. Again, if you ignore those inspirations, those moments where you feel inspired, um, that's when you're going to suffer. So I feel we really need to pay attention to the things that excite us right now, that interest us. And it's just that simple, right? It's just that simple. If you do it, uh, you will be very successful. So uh, let's see. Uh, with the Queen of Cups, you have the King of Pentacles here. If you, you know, if you are attracting love, I feel like this is a permanent person. King of Pentacles to me is like someone who wants something permanent. I also do feel, again, that there could be you know, money coming back for some sort of work or some sort of skill that you did here in the past. With the Knight of Cups, you have the Four of Cups. Um, this would be good, again, 
showing up in the good stuff and this four cups you see those this is the white sage tarot and you can see those three cups are pouring into one cup so i love this version of the four cups but it literally could be a person that really it pours in all their energy right with the queen of wands you are like are, you cannot make this stuff up like are you kidding me look king uh king of wands king of cups Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups right here. Um, that is crazy that that happened. I'm telling you, I, I literally said it at the beginning of the reading that this was one person, even though they're showing up as two. So it's like the both of you might express these energies of, you know, wands and cups if this is love or, you know, whatever. Uh, if this is not love, if you don't want love, to me, whenever something like this happens, it, to me, it looks like alignment, as in you are in alignment with your goals or the things you want to achieve. So just... Keep working, <laughs> just keep doing what you're doing and follow your inspirations no matter what, where they will lead you because they will lead you to success. Uh, are you kidding? You have this vision card. Some of you definitely could be dealing with a Pisces. Pisces, fire, water, just in general, stand out to me here. Sagittarius, uh, Capricorn, um, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, or Leo with the world. But um, you know, this is also a card of your vision. A couple of people have had this card eh, this month and it just says, you need to stay focused on exactly what you want and don't get distracted. We kind of talked about that a little bit in this reading. Uh, you have this independence card. I do feel like you could be attracting a person who's very independent. You know, again, to me, two independent people do very well together because it's like you don't need each other, but you want each other. You're not bothering each other. Definitely good <laughs> is what I would say. I also do feel you could be doing something that makes you more independent. Uh, you have this originality card showing up here as well. I, it, we are in a time of originality because of Pluto going into Aquarius. Yes, it's going back and forth over Pluto and Capricorn, you know, and Pluto and Aquarius. But, you know, by the end of 2024, like in November of 2024, it'll officially be in Aquarius for 20 years. So, you know, about 20 years, I should say. And, uh, you know, but that doesn't mean wait. That means, you know, you should get started right now on your original ideas. Come up with new plans, new ideas, new things that you could do because the new stuff, the original stuff is gonna be successful. You have this caution card. Again, I would be careful of the energy vampires. A couple of people have had this card as well. Uh, so again, there could just be this energy of, you know, people kind of trying to drag you down. Like I said, I think it's a sign of the times where you're becoming more successful. Other people don't like to see you shine your light. and they, So I would avoid those people. Yeah, you have this influence card here as well. I actually feel like you could be attracting someone who has a lot of influence, um, but I would also be careful of other people getting involved in something new that is good. So make sure to protect the things, you know, you have that set boundaries card. So make sure to protect the things that matter to you. But uh, this looks very good. Definitely a very good reading. I'd say more playfulness, more inspiration. Those are like your two keywords, but looks good. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your month.